Hey guys, so I'm about to pick up my first solo dog. I did have a dog when I was growing up. I had a Cocker Spaniel. This time I've decided to get a Shih Tzu. And that's his setup kind of down there. We're about to go pick him up. He's about 30 minutes away and he's about eight weeks now. I've been waiting for weeks, months to pick him up. Like we, I found him when he was like about a week old. Um, so I had to wait seven weeks to pick him up while he was uh, growing. So yeah, there's been a lot of anticipation behind this, a lot of setup, and I'm super excited. You see yourself? He likes to climb on me and be closer to the window. So we have made it home. We've been home for about two hours. Right now he's just playing with his bone. But he doesn't really seem interested in toys. Uh -uh. No. Tried to put him in his crate with his snuggle puppy, but he started crying. So I gave up. He did take a slight nap earlier. And then he peed, and now he's out here. I guess this is playtime, but he doesn't play. He just, he's a very chill dog, doesn't like to do much. Maybe it's because it's, you know, his new surroundings. So in a couple weeks, I think he'll be fine, be more playful. <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, right on. <laughs> I'm going to try to put a harness on Taj. Um, I got him, how many days ago? Three days ago on Friday and now it's Sunday. This just came in today. It's a Voyager extra, extra small harness. So hopefully this works. I bought him another one that was extra small, but I think it was too big. So we're gonna try this. This is Taj right here. He's a Shih Tzu, he's eight weeks old. Oh, you like it then. This is his tag here. So I read, I heard online that you're not supposed to use these because they make a lot of noise and it annoys them. So I did buy him a collar that's personalized. Seems like he likes it. He's not like throwing a fit. He already stays by me, so he doesn't really need a leash. He follows me. <laughs> Come here, Josh. Okay. He already follows me, so. Oh, he walks fine on a leash. first time this is gonna be my first time bathing him here um, I think my breeders bathed him a couple of times I'm gonna be using bio six bio silk for dogs puppy tearless shampoo and I already have his towel here that I bought off Amazon it's a microfiber towel 
Um, so I'm gonna bathe him in the sink right here. But I'm just gonna tap, get a little bit of water on him first, see how he reacts. Seems like he's okay. I'm just gonna, and I'm using warm water, not hot or cold. I'm just gonna start to dip him in here. Get that backside. Oh, he's not squirming. Good boy, Taj. Good boy. I guess he's kind of used to the water a little bit. I gotta get his neck. Because he gets a lot of eye boogers and whatnot, so I want to make sure I get that. Can I get his arm on as well? Okay. Now I'm going to add some shampoo. <laughs> no. Sit down. Taj. Okay. Shampoo smells good. Pause here. Taj, I want to get some of these eye boogers out. Good boy, Taj. Good boy. <laughs> he looks like a different dog now. How do you recognize him? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. This, that's it. Wrap them around a couple times. Well, actually, you can't wrap them. He's kind of shivering, or well, is shivering. So I hope he kind of calms down a little bit before I start blow drying him. Ooh, I didn't get your back so You okay? You okay, buddy? So I'm using the low setting, low heat, low speed, low heat. Uh, setting on the hot shot tools blow dryer. Oh. Fluff ball. Face is still a little bit dry, I mean wet, but he looks more fluffy than before.